There are four main components of paint. In broad terms, these are binder, pigments, liquid, and additives. Just about all paints that don't dry clear can be described as having these four components. Binder. The binders are like the glue of the paint. Actually, the binders used in many paints are also used as glues. For example, a binder and two-pack epoxy paint is much the same as a two-pack epoxy glue. And the latex used in vinyl paint is similar to PVA glue. So the binder is the component that binds, or glues together the particles of pigment and the coating to the surface. We'll explain what pigments are in a moment. Most binders dry clear. The more binder a paint has, the more light is reflected sharply, much like light reflecting off water. So the more binder a paint has, the glossier it will appear. When the binder dries, the liquid part of the paint has evaporated, but the binder itself remains as a dry component. So, the binder is one of the parts of the paint that takes up the dry film thickness, and thus can be referred to as part of the volume solids. Pigments. Pigments are finely ground particles of powders which are dispersed in paint. Pigments are also the solid part of the paint. The pigments are usually mixed with glycols to form a liquid paste. White pigments are made from titanium dioxide and are mostly manufactured into the paint. The white pigment or titanium dioxide is known as the base or primary pigment. Some other colours are made during manufacturing, such as Heritage Green, Mission Brown, Canary Yellow, etc. Most colours, though, are created after the paint is manufactured by adding pigments in the form of colourants at the shop or on site. These colourants are often referred to as tinters, and a common expression used when describing this is tinting the paint. The pigments provide the colour to the paint and hide the surface the paint is applied over. The ability of paint to cover a substrate and thus hide the substrate is called opacity. The pigments in effect block light from hitting the surface and thus reflects whatever colour the pigment allows to be reflected. When paint dries, the pigments take up a primary part of what is referred to as dry film thickness. That is to say, the coating that is dry will be a certain thickness made up of the dry coating. That's why the pigments are also referred to as the main part of the volume solids. Volume solids are the parts of the paint that are still present with the coating when it dries. So just to clarify this, we've spoken about binders and pigments. These are the two components of paint that make up the dry film thickness and may be referred to as the volume solids of that paint. The liquid. The liquid part of the paint is also called a vehicle as it carries the binder to the surface until it dries. The liquid part of the paint evaporates, allowing for the drying process to start with the paint. The cheaper paint will have more liquid and less volume solids. Quality paint, on the other hand, will have more volume solids and less liquid. Additives are ingredients that are added to the paint that enhance some of the paint's performance. Some additives affect the thickness of the paint. Other additives control the drying time, prevent bubbling, or resist mould and mildew. Ow! Oh.